for pranayam and meditation you can choose to sit in any of the following 3 asanas that i am going to teach now first one is sukhasan in sukhasan your legs are bent at the knee and gently crossed your back is upright the next one is ardha padmasan wherein you can choose to put any one of your feet on the opposite thigh with your sole facing up and your heel touching the pubic bone if your knees feel comfortable sit in purna padmasan wherein both your feet are on opposite thighs and your soles are facing upward Both your heels are touching your pubic bone. Now let's learn the hand mudra that we use in most of the pranayams. Lift your right hand up and spread out your fingers. Fold your index finger and wrap your thumb around it. Now bring your hand back on the knee with palm facing up. This is called as chinna mudra. Make the same mudra with the other hand as well. This is the basic asan that we use for most of the pranayams. Now, let's get started. People who suffer from sensitive teeth, asthma, or low blood pressure should avoid this pranayam. Let's now practice shitkari pranayam or the hissing breath. Sit in any comfortable meditation posture and upright your back. Hold your teeth lightly together, separate the lips exposing the teeth. Place your hands in chinna mudra and close your eyes. Inhale through your teeth and take a deep inhalation all the way down into your abdomen. And then close your mouth. Exhale completely through the nose. As you inhale, produce the hissing sound. Close your mouth and then exhale quietly. Open the mouth. Continue to breathe like this. Keep your focus on the hissing sound and on the cooling sensation of the inhaled breath. relax and breathe normally shitkari pranayam helps in cooling down the entire body and mind induces muscle relaxation and helps in falling asleep kapalbhati should not be performed by people who have any kind of heart issues or people suffering from high blood pressure let's practice kapalbhati breathing or the breath of fire Sitting in one of the basic meditative asanas with your hands in chinna mudra take a half inhale and start exhaling sharply through your nose as you exhale sharply contract your abdomen initially do anywhere between 10 to 50 counts of this breath in one round and then stop and take several free breaths Kapalbhati has a cleansing effect on the lungs. It balances and strengthens the nervous system and tones the digestive organs. Sit back and breathe normally. Brahmari should not be practiced in a lying down position or while suffering from severe ear infections. Let us now practice Brahmari pranayam or the humming bee breath. Sit in a comfortable meditation posture. and lift up your elbows bring your middle finger on your eyes your ring finger gently pressing your nostrils your thumb inside your ears but gently pressing your index finger and your pinky finger just resting on your face inhale through the nose and exhale slowly in a controlled manner while making a deep steady humming sound the sound should be soft and mellow making the front of your forehead vibrate
Bhramari helps in getting rid of anger, anxiety and insomnia and increases the capacity of the body to heal itself. It strengthens and improves the voice and induces a meditative state. Bring your hands back on your knees and take a few relaxing breaths. Initially, 5 to 10 rounds of Brahmari breathing is sufficient. You can slowly increase the duration to 10 to 15 minutes. Anulom Vilom or alternate nostril breathing should not be practiced while suffering from cold and flu. Let's now practice alternate nostril breathing or Anulom Vilom. But before that, it is important to learn the Nasagra Mudra. Bring the middle finger of your right hand on the center of your forehead, your thumb on the right nostril and your ring finger on the left nostril. Relax your index finger and pinky finger. As you lift your thumb up, take a deep inhale through the right nostril and then close the right nostril. Lift up your ring finger and exhale completely through the left nostril. Now take a deep inhale through the left nostril, close the left nostril, lift up your thumb and exhale completely through the right nostril. This completes one round of Anulom Vilom. As you continue to breathe like this, try to increase the duration of each breath without straining. Try to practice 5 to 7 rounds of this breathing and then relax. This is a very relaxing and balancing breath that improves focus and concentration. This breath activates both right as well as the left hemisphere of our brains. Sit back and relax and breathe normally. Let's finish our practice by lying down comfortably and relaxing in Shavasan. Sit on your mat, come to a supine position, lying on your back, Keep your legs wider than your hips and your hands away from the body, palms facing up. Allow your feet to fall sideways and now take a few deep inhalations and very long exhalations. Notice your breath moving in and out of your body and let your breath follow its natural cycle. Do not try to control your breath right now. Just be aware of it and just enjoy the beauty of your breath. With each inhalation, experience a sense of expansion and openness in the body and with each exhalation, feel a sense of relaxation and peacefulness. Every time you exhale, let go of any tension in the muscles Feel the weight of your body on the floor. And allow yourself to melt a little bit further down into the floor underneath you. Letting go completely, surrendering to the gravity. Notice your breath as it comes in and goes out of the body knowing you are breathing. Stay in this state for a few minutes.
stretch out your legs stretch out your arms above the head just be here for a while turn on the left side and slowly come back to a sitting position bring your hands in prayer pose or namaskar mudra and be thankful for all your blessings now start rubbing your palms make them nice and warm and now place your warm palm on your eyes massaging your eyes gently bring your hands back in prayer pose and slowly open up your eyes thank you for practicing with me today i will see you again on yogami